Hi all, this is the review of Runes of Scar set, which I just got today. Um, the set is very nice, the Mavellans are lovely, uh, nicely detailed, the Dalek is nice. Um, I shall get into a comparison with the first release, um, which was some time ago. Now I think the Mavellans are nice, as I just said. Um, if you wanted to army build, it wouldn't be much point because um, there's not one male, one female Mavellan. Um, but the original Bomber Dalek was released um, many years ago. I think it was about 2009 in the fourth Doctor Adventures set. Um, and then a Destiny of the Dalek set with two Destiny Daleks, Davros, and the fourth Doctor was in 2011. Anyway, that's just that little bit of background. You all want to have a look at the Mavellans, don't you? So there we go. I'm going to just give you the negativity first. Uh, yes, they've got articulation, but I wouldn't be doing that too much because to me, they feel very fragile, like they would snap at any point. Now, I'm not sure what figure they have used. Some say Leela, some say Clara. I think maybe Leela. I mean, um, I'm not certain yet. But I just find them a bit fragile. Um, but it has full articulation. I just give it a twirl. Boots are nice detail. I mean, the detail is very nice. Um, shame we didn't get a a, a, ma a male one. Um, that would have been an option for character. Aha, uh -huh, no pun intended. Sorry, that's the cigar on the inside. I do find it a bit difficult to get back on, but I shall do that while I talk. They could have done like two sets. Um, one male, Mavellan, and a bomber Dalek. Um, and another bomber Dalek with a female one. Um, oh, we see now I can't get it in. Uh -huh. And there we go. So head is. Uh, oh, don't worry about that. You turn, and it is, I believe, a pop off figure. The head can easily pop off if you want to do such a thing. Um. Just pop it in there. I mean, it is nice. The gun's nice now. But by gun, they are all fiddly to put back on. Oh, well, never mind. I'll put it back. You can see one with it and one without then. Uh -huh. Oh, she doesn't stand very well. It's just, it's not so much the figure. It's more my light box. It's a bit battered. Um, but both very nice detail. Oh, no, I can't get it to stand. I'll just stand at the back there. Oh. No. Oh, there. Yeah, both very nice detail. I'll bring in this one. I think this one, the actress, I think, was this Michelle Dandel or someone like that? She was a sports person or something. I really do remember her. I think I met her once when I was at school or something. She was in something or went to some sports day or something. Yeah, that was, I think, before Destiny. I can't remember, to be honest. Anyway, um, yep, very nice. Um, now let's come on to the old Dalek. Now this line you can see down the front of it. I believe that's just a mould wearing. Um, I mean, how many more times than they can do classics is beyond me. Um, what's up next? We've got B&M Resurrection to come. Um, but one thing that surprised me on this, um, it doesn't have what you could call the neck booster. Um, it was that an uh, A-frame put into the you know, to the prop, which raised the neck up a bit. So on the Five Doctors one, which I should just bring in for the sake of it. 
and the revelation one oops there she comes again as you can see it just has this if you can see gap and destiny dialects had that one didn't have that and that was like i think the gen one a genesis prop well that wasn't really repainted um and they could have painted the plunger i'm just sorry you've got to stand up woman um if you look on the plunger there it's all black then they could have painted that bit silver um which they did on the um five doctors dialect but it's a nice dialect um i like the scuff mark on the base would have liked to have seen a bit more weathering over um but yeah usual with the dialect it's quite nice um i still now i have checked with a picture and some said the eye stalk is not right um now please in the comments box correct me if i'm wrong but i think that eye stock is correct um also don't forget to uh like the video um give it a thumbs up and do subscribe um because with me you will find me open and honest um i say what i will say and if i find inf information out i will tell you about any future sets i'm not going to be scared off by um a madman um but that by the by because remember all i ever find no here is rumors like you do rumors are not based on fact they're a story um but there we go digress so this is that Mavazza. so let me bring in the first release now i've got two of them here i must have bought two bomber daleks and um, yeah i want to bring in this one for this, oops this one for a reason you don't know what i'm talking about um oops, i said that can't do it yeah so this is the first um so it's quite shiny um he says they got the bombs right uh right so let's compare compare the bomb.com right so we have one two there yeah he spaced them out better yeah i would say that's more how they were a bit haphazard i think that was more probably the bbc and getting them attached to the slats yeah i much prefer the new ones i did think this was just a re-release but it's not and it's a dark color which is great um yeah the bombs are nice um they've done new shoulders it's too algebra says that i'm not sure why oops that's what i want to show you um the catch broke in the dome here um i never tried to have fixed it um, but see in the early releases you may not know eye stalks could easily come out but i think then something with health and safety they had to make them permanent in case you could choke it what i like to do is there yeah, is to do that and have the stalk pointing down which i wish character could do that uh must be something in the process um but there we go that's the two um and i'm gonna just bring in the last release of um um a destiny dalek because i do believe um sorry i've gone it's quite just thinking that there is something that needs improving so um i'm just going to bring it in i'm just going to take out this old one now this is one from most recent very nice together it is the light kind of got a black rim and a bit more detail these lights here in fact looking at them look like the same lights as the original release that's the only thing i would criticize the like, well the lights and the no neck booster um 
and that's really all I'm going to say about it. Um, I hope you've liked this little chat about it. And I'm going to do a line up now, uh, not dancing, um, of Daleks and Movellans from that story. Um, um, Algebra's favourite story. I wonder if Pyramids is one of his favourites as well, because that's another one where we've had a lot of figures from. Sutex, Garmin, the sarcophagus, the mum, two types of mummies. Um, I suppose you can always tell which is his favourites when he does a lot of figures on. Anyway, I still hope for my dream releases. I think one of them is coming. Um, I wish Tegan and Nissa would as well. Um, right, so let's pop this there. That's there. Um, that's the Mavellans and the Daleks. In fact, I'm going to just take out... No, I'm not going to take anything out. I'm just going to move them slightly if I can. Oh, I do like these Mavella figures. It's same as though the word flimsy. I'd be afraid of moving them much more for the break. Now, this is the Doctor from Destiny. That is not, that's the scarf of taking off um, the City of Death one, but that's the one he should have on. And um, I've just got to get you something else. Hang on. I'm just going to get in uh, another Destiny that we have. Oops, she's crashed. I'll just leave her to hold on to that. Another Destiny there. And another. And another. Might as well see them all. Sorry, I should have been prepared. Uh, um, that's another one. But I'll tell you what. And this is a very. Uh, um, on the hoof video, I hadn't really thought much through. I shall. I'll take these two out and give you the lineup of all the Destiny Daleks. Uh, so there we go. Uh, one more. Um, so there's all the Destiny of the Daleks and that we have. And then I'm going to take him out. Him, um, him, and I'm just going to do a line up with the Bomber Daleks. And there's the Bomber Daleks. The original release is the middle, and then the new one at the end. And then to finish off with. Let's bring in the man himself. Where has he gone? Davros with a computer spear, which was compiled by the Supreme Dalek, which Davros was not very happy about. Um, and there we have Destiny of the Daleks. So let's um, bring in the Doctor and do a lineup. We also have from that story, of course, Romana, a new regenerator Romana. And then, of course, let's bring back our friendly Mavellans. Interesting aliens, they were, just robots, I like them. I showed it to a friend of mine recently, um, who's not a Doctor Who fan. Um, He's younger than me, um, um, so he's never seen it. What is he, 35? Um, so I showed him a picture instead of the Mavellans and he thought they looked like an 80s band. So there we go, Destiny of the Daleks. Well, I hope you like this uh, video. And excuse my unplanning of it. Um, but there we go. And... And next setup is what we're in now. We're in April 
don't know. The other set I spoke about in my other video, the possibility of um, the Ainley Master, a proper version with two of his TARDISes. Um, I think that's for July. Um, we should have B&Ms by then. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. Until then, just go forward in all my beliefs and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, take care, folks. And uh, just before I go, um, just shout out to somebody I often forget. He's on Instagram called Master's Joke. Um, and he's a fellow Doctor Who fan, also does good videos. Um, sorry, his full name is Master's Joke 75. Do check him out on his YouTube channel. Um, he, he also talks about the figures and um good bloke and a couple of shout outs to some friends of mine to chris and to peter hello guys i hope you're well and um anyway catch you all soon take care bye bye